yeah, I'm delighted to say now, local bookmaker and punter Johnny Dineen has uh, kindly joined us uh, to speak about uh, next week's Cheltenham. And Johnny, you're a bookmaker that stands at Cheltenham every year, and uh, it must be a great feeling just to be uh, there at the races during the week. Yeah, well, it's it's, it's the it's it's the Olympics of horse racing and national hunt racing in particular, and yeah, it, it was kind of like when when I was a bookmaker. A professional bookmaker it was kind of an ambition to bet there and once you got there um, I mean you, you feel you're kind of half you feel you've arrived you know what I mean that kind of way but the, the, it's, a bit, it's, it's worn off a bit since now at the same time you know what I mean and, and this could even be our last year there but should we go anyway this time and see what, what, what happens but, you know we'll see what happens but the, the expenses are big there and the, and the, and, and the turnover has, has dropped alarmingly mm-hmm. there so it's, it's not as it's not as, as, as big a I miss as it would have been 10 years ago now, you know what I mean, that kind of way. I know you fancy a couple of horses uh, throughout the week and one of them I suppose is in the Gold Cup and going for a third time lucky in the race. Yeah, I think it's a great chance Jack Adam, I'm not saying it's a, like the, the price it is now 4-1 is, is it's not a bargain, there's no bargain 4-1, it, it, it's an open enough race too but it, it is a great chance, w- would I back it at 4-1? Probably not, probably not but if, 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 you, if you told me to, to pick one out that's the one I'd go for, that's the one I'd go for but he's, he's been found in the market now 4-1 is, is, is as tight as he should be now, you know what I mean? There's plenty uh, top quality races during the week, but I suppose one that's uh, close to the locals' hearts is the Fox Hunters Chase. And there is a short price favourite, but I've heard that the Bulger has uh, his horse ready uh, that's on the fringe. Yeah, on the fringe. He's, 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 I think he's a 12 year old. He's, he's going for. He's going for a three. He's actually going for a treble, treble, which will never ever be done again. He's run for this, the race in Aintree and Punchestown. And. Like, he wasn't even right and he won the race last year he, like, he was imperious the year before he, he was awesome in Aintree and Punchestown last year I would consider at 6 or 7 to 4 that's the best 6 or 7 to 4 chance of the whole 4 days by a distance now as well because like, that is a gazelle to jump like, if a fellow could if, like, put it this way anybody could ride on the fringe not a mind have a fellow like Jamie Codd who is in a, in a different planet to uh, every other na- amateur rider, like in a different planet, like a big edge for punters in in Cheltenham, to me, in my opinion, is you could nearly back Jamie Codd blind. He is so far ahead of amateurs, it's not funny. And another race he'd be riding in is the cross country. And as you say, Johnny, he's one of the best amateur riders going in Britain or Ireland. Uh, he's not one of the best amateurs. He is the best amateur that ever rode a horse, that stayed amateur. Mm. Now, obviously, like Ruby Walsh and all them, he started amateur. But he is the best amateur that, uh, that ever rode a horse, that stayed amateur. He didn't go professional. He's not going to now. He's probably 40 years of age. He's mid 30s. Uh, anyway, but I know how old he is. But he's not going to go professional now, and he's probably too heavy. But. Like he's he's five six pounds ahead of Derek O'Connor, and he's he, like he's fields ahead of some of these guys. Though, you know I mean? And just regarding the cross country, he's riding cause of he's causes. Riding cause of causes and that, but like you'll have professional riders against him in that race. Not the same, but that is a great chance. Cause of causes, great great chance, great chance. But again, he's been found in market too. He's only into five to one ninety two from ten and twelve to one. Like you know what I mean? A lot of the prices are, are, are like the markets are becoming more mature. The, the value is being eked out of these these horses now. You know. One horse you didn't really like last year was Min in the Supreme Novice Hurdle, and then uh, William Mullins is another favourite in Mellon in the yeah. Supreme. Well, Mellon is like he's a high horse. He's almost coming here and making his debut because the race he won in in, in, in Leperstown was, was was a bicycle race. So, like, I mean, he'd have done the same in the school in Hurdle and Turles. You know what I mean? He beats my horse Broken Swords now with a dollar, and he's he's on. But, but the fact is that you cannot get away from one thing. Ruby Walsh has picked him over the other three and everyone knows roughly how good those are and if he's better than them and they say he's considerably better than those like apparently if if he brings his work to the races he'll win even with one run and it has been done before like it was done in 1992 with Flown and it was done in 1991 with Destriero now it's, as you could say it's 25 years ago but it probably hasn't been attempted that often in the meantime so it has been done and like if Noel Furlan can do it I, I dare say Willie Mullins is, will be able to do it If we could ask you for your best handicap uh, bet for our listeners at home and your nap at the meeting My nap at the meeting is on the fringe and uh, horses to look out for in handicaps in the Perth Thames final for good measure and in the Kim Muir squat tour they're both McManus horses uh, Jamie Codd rides squat tour I think and for good measure I'm not sure who oh, I'd say Richard Johnson will ride that he'll ride that um, and other handicaps I'm just trying to think off the top of my head um, I can't think of another one now to be honest but 
th those two horses have good chances for good measure, particularly for good measure. I know it's a pretentious a murder race now, murder race, but it's it's definitely a great chance, great chance. It has a good bit in hand, but you could run into other horses a great, good bit in hand. But I, I dare say, if, like four horses won't beat it. Like it's a stunk in each way a bit, but any bit it looks like, you know what I mean? Johnny, best luck okay. next week. Hopefully you have a good week, and uh, thanks very much. So, for Patrick, to us. all the best.